picture is sent from the camera through the air, and it is on this glass surface or screen that you'll be able to see your pictures transmitted by a series of dots of light that will move so rapidly that all the human eye will be able to see is a complete motion picture. The man's a lunatic. I always knew it. Well, the devil's not serious. He can't be. Well, I, for one, have had enough of this. This is the 20th century. This is 1912. And this famous Harvard University is creaking. No, 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 no. Old fashioned. No. Dick, tell the man to go. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Good, good, good. Getting out of American academic life. <laughs> Had your last chance. You won't have Quentin E. Deverell to kick around anymore. You can all go to the devil. I'm getting out. Out of this place to pursue my studies in private and in peace. Professor Deverell, you can't do that. Goodbye. This is a cab, isn't it? Taxi for hire by the public? Yes, Governor. This is a cab, a diver under cabby, but this address. I ain't in London. I see. Fine. Thank you. Wasted my time. All right, how much? What? For this thing? What, uh, 120 pounds, this. Here's 100. Mind you, I've been offered 150. Get in. Show me which way to go. I've broken some thing. This egg is hard. Fire the cook. You fired her yesterday. I boiled that egg myself. Two minutes flat, just the way you like it. Don't try to convince me. Convince the egg.
He's been missing for almost a month now. My brother. Can you see him? He has been on a voyage. Yes, on his boat. At sea. His name. Richard. And he is with us now. Oh, yes. Yes, go on. Stop. Sit down. This has gone on long enough. Don't Who cares to interrupt the spirit voyage of the great Satchel? Sitting bull. King from the Apache. Professor Quentin Everhart Deverell at your service. He didn't tell you anything new, young lady. Just pumped you for information and then fed it all back to you. As for the so-called ectoplasm materialization, it's nothing more than a bunch of angel hair on the end of a stick. By the way, Sitting Bull was chief of the Sioux, not the Apache. Get rid of him, lads. And break him good while you're at it. Is this your response to the challenge of scientific inquiry? Bloody right. Fine. Then I look forward to the debate, sir. the one you should bring up on charges. He's a con man and a fraud. His hoax is spiritualism. A great many people believe in spiritualism. A great many people are idiots, Your Honor. Before pronouncing sentence, the court wishes to state its dismay at the prisoner's extraordinary unrepentant attitude. And the fact, sir, that you are an American is only a partial excuse. A fine of 10 pounds. And you may consider yourself lucky to have avoided a term in prison. Excuse me. Uh, I'm a reporter, an American like you. Uh, Charlie Andrews, uh, International Wireless Telegraph Dispatch Service. Well, we're not as big as Reuters, but uh, we're making progress. Listen, I hate reporters. But I know you. You must be thinking of somebody else. Oh, no, I remember very well. I'm a Harvard man myself. Wonderful. Small world. Now, if you'll excuse me. You were the most brilliant man on campus. QED, they used to call you. I remember you resigned right in mid-semester after the... Well, it was after the... Andrews. You played football. I remember you, too. Varsity tailback. All Ivy League my senior year. The Yale game. You fumbled in your own end zone. We lost. Now, wait a minute. That was a disputed call. The whistle had already blown... Yeah, I guess maybe I did fumble. Uh... Just that once. Oi! Here I am, Governor! So you see, Andrews, the past is a double-edged sword. You're right. You're absolutely right. Now, if I could just have a moment of your time. Not long, just to ask a few questions. I'm sure it won't keep you very long at all. You're a reporter, aren't you? Yes. Be sure to mention in your story that this man is a lunatic and a heartless one at that. Who are you? Betsy Stevens. Let me explain. My brother Richard was on that yacht. He disappeared a month ago. Oh, that's terrible. I... He went off on a trip. Suddenly, for no reason. I haven't heard from him since. I don't even know if he's alive or dead. Finally, last night, I was about to find out what happened to him, and then this... this awful person ruined everything. Something that may not have occurred to you, Miss Stevens. Well, mediums only deal with dead people, don't they? So... If he had any real news about your brother, it could only mean that he was dead. Thanks to me, you can still hope that he's alive. 
You follow me? Of course he's dead. His ship was lost to sea. He was washed overboard. Yes, I read that newspaper article. Full of stupidity and contradiction. Hey, I wrote that article. That explains the stupidity. But what it doesn't explain is how a yacht can go adrift in one of the busiest shipping lanes in the world for more than a month and not be noticed. And why no logbook was found on board. All this leads me to believe that what we have here is not a tragedy. Not yet, at least. It's a mystery. And I intend, I feel obliged to solve it for you. This is my brother's room. I apologize for the mess. What mess? High thermal alloy stress charts. Self-generating artillery shells. Direction control. Well, it's all in logical order. I'm afraid I'm not thinking logically at the moment. Some of those may be personal. They're all personal. That's a physicist. That's a metallurgist. That's an idiot. His field is high energy gas spectroscopy, but he doesn't know it from a hole in the ground. But this is interesting. I'd like to meet your brother. The devil. Kilkis mixed up in this. Is your brother a criminal? Certainly not. Just a very nice, clever man. It isn't very clever to be mixed up with Kilkis. That I can tell you for sure. I'm afraid I don't follow you. Uh, it's not your fault. Your brain has remained three quarters empty. Whatever its natural limits might be, blame society. Oh, thank you, Professor. You do know how to make a person feel better, don't you? You are feeling better, aren't you? Who is this Kilkis? I've never met the man. But Kilkis spells bad news in any language. He's an international saboteur. He's a brilliant and wicked man. And your brother seems to have been working with him on a special project. What are you talking about? The greatest instrument for good or evil yet invented by man. Rockets. I just don't see why you're making such a big deal out of this. So there was no logbook. What does that prove? Nothing. But it suggests a lot. Unless you're fool enough to think he took it with him when he fell overboard. Can't you stop arguing? Arguing? Who's arguing? It takes two to argue. Intellectually, I'm all alone down here. Take a look at this. Hey, someone's tampered with this chart. Brilliant. This is your brother's course, clearly marked. QED. What does that mean? Quad erit demonstrandum. It's Latin. Means quite easily done, or more simply, as any fool can plainly see. It also happens to be my initials. Your brother was headed for these islands, the Frisian Islands off the German coast. And I think we should, too. In, in this boat? Why not? <laughs> because the idea is ridiculous. No, it isn't. Do you have a better idea? Or would you rather accept the unanswered question? We may find out what happened to him. That and more. This is great, isn't it? You know, I really think I'm getting the hang of this. You're doing fine, Charles. Huh? Charlie, please. Not properly, Charles. Go off the wind. What? Oh! <laughs> oh. The queen of fish. Come on. That's interesting. What? Cumulonimbus at that altitude? Must be a stratospheric inversion. Which means... This is what sailing's all about! Man against the elements!
Called me Charlie. Thought you were dead. Well, it's a miracle I'm not. I'm glad you're alive, but there's nothing miraculous about it. This is the coast of Friesland where we were headed. Hey, Governor, look. Hey! <laughs> They got guns! Just sit! Lick up! My God! They're gonna shoot us! Look at the bright side, Charlie. We seem to have come to the right place after all. If I may, Governor. Oh, no, Governor. Just picked up a word here and there. It's amazing how it all comes back to you when you really need it. Exactly gazelles, are they, Mr. Andrews? More like gorillas. <laughs> Stella! Company! Hunt! Hören Sie ihn ab und sperren Sie ihn ein! It's all right, Charlie, let him go. What is it? Who is that case? Welcome to Altenstadt. You speak English. Oh, a little. I have the honor to be Burgermeister of this little village. Well, maybe you can explain why those soldiers took us prisoner and marched us around like a bunch of convicts. And, and, and now they've taken the professor's manservant and... Professor? My subject is Greek. Oh, really? We are honored. Your servant will be looked after in the servants' quarters. <laughs> no, wait a minute. Of Just course, because thank you. A... Please calm yourself. <laughs> These men are not soldiers. They are bird hunting. This coast may be very dangerous for sailors, but it is excellent for wild geese. <laughs> and as for prisoners, <laughs> permit me to assure you, you are under no restraint of any kind. Oh, well, in that case, I'd like to speak to the American consul. When in doubt, always ask for the consul. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are so old-fashioned, we have no telephone. May I ask you why you are here? Well, we were looking for... Poor for castaways. A uh, mishap on a sailing holiday. That's exactly right, Herr Burgermeister. We were looking for my brother, who is missing from his yacht. Oh, I'm so sorry. If I can help in any way. We think he's been working for someone called... Kill something. Kill Kiss. Well, the important thing now is to get into dry clothes. Uh, there's an apartment for you upstairs. Please, consider yourselves my guest. Oh, no, no, madame. There are separate arrangements for ladies, naturally. Oh, hey, now, wait just a Naturally. Sec Thank you for your courtesy, Herr Burgermeister. Please, sit down. Don't I get a chance to change no, my... No, please, sit down. Tell me, did your brother tell you about this kill kiss? I'm sorry, but it's none of your business. I want to know. And I will know. No, he didn't. I found the name mentioned in a letter he had written. Apparently. 
Apparently, this Kilkis is a criminal. Who said that? It is well known. <laughs> it is a lie. Kilkis is a fine man. No, no, a great man. So you know him? I must tell you, Stefan Kilkis is a very good friend of mine. Then perhaps you've met my brother, Richard Stevens. Stevens? Yes, I've heard the name. Is he all, is he all right? Alive? That I don't know. No. If he so much as touches a hair on her head, he'll live to regret it. And I'll make sure that he does. <laughs> My subject is Greek. <laughs> oh, that was good. You really had him there. <laughs> the great Professor Deverell of Harvard University teaching Greek? <laughs> Smoke, Corporal. Have the packet. Thank you, sir. That's a sad net one in. Band 1, mein Herr. Gerade transkribiert. Danke. Warte! Bringen Sie die Alten so mehr. It is indeed a pleasure to have such a distinguished guest. Many men have tried to outwit Stefan Kilkis. Now even the great Professor Deveril has failed. Who is Stefan Kilkis? You don't recognize the name? No, I don't. I don't believe you. Miss Stevens knew all right. You and I, Professor, are probably among the greatest brains in the world. But you waste your talents while I have the wit to sell mine to whoever's bold enough or rich enough to be worthy of me. And therefore, business has been very good. I've had my successes. You remember that phylloxera disease that killed all those wine grapes in France? And then on a more modest level, there was the sinking of the Titanic. Physico. How? A few lights in the wrong place, an iceberg in the right place, a few gold coins in the right palm. How in God's name can you take pride in such evil? I had hoped, Professor, that as a man of science you might understand. Together, nothing would be beyond our reach. Good, evil. To a scientist, such concepts are meaningless. Anyway, who really cares? What's important is to dare to fulfill one's genius. Genius? You're no genius, you're a crackpot. You think so? Well, I'm sorry, because well, I think we need each other. I need you? Yes. I wouldn't treat you like those idiots at Harvard. You'd have money, as much money as you like. Your own laboratory, as much time and as much help to develop any project you like. Provided you help me with mine. I'll never work for you. No? Come with me. See for yourself. You may change your mind. Please. 
Chiefs. Now, is that not the work of a genius? Powered by liquid oxygen and alcohol. Morton Fuse, thrust 1,600 kilograms, range 200 miles. And Miss Stevens' brother designed it for you? He'd heard of my reputation. When I contacted him, secretly of course, he jumped at the chance. Of course, when he heard about his ultimate purpose, he was rather difficult. I managed to persuade him to finish his work, under my watchful eye, naturally. And this is our ultimate purpose. The designated target area of our new weapons. London. Within two years, we shall have 200 rockets on this coast, each 20 times the size of that one, each with a warhead of one ton, each ready to strike to London. They'll take 72 seconds to reach their target. Within minutes, central London will no longer exist. You'll be killing and maiming hundreds of men and women and children. Well, not hundreds. Thousands, I hope. A million would be a modest estimate. But why? In God's name, why? His Imperial Highness the Kaiser believes that war between Germany and England is inevitable by 1914 at the latest. He's coming to a test firing tomorrow. He believes in... I've given him a word for it. Blitzkrieg. <laughs> Betsy's brother must have realized that Kilkis was just a windbag. And his henchmen don't know much about rockets. I noticed that he reversed the oxidizer shutoff valve. Yeah, but wouldn't kill... Wouldn't kill Kiss. Check it out. He hasn't so far. And when he tries to fire the thing... Das Gewehr über! Das Gewehr ab! Chin up, Betsy. I'm so glad you're all right. Just for a couple more minutes. Dear Charlie. I want you to know that I love you, Betsy. Easy now. Don't say anything you might regret later on. Richard. Betsy. Oh, my dear sister. This is Professor Dev. A little late for introductions, I think, Miss Stevens. I'd like to apologize to you and your companions for this rather messy, noisy way of saying farewell. It's not my usual style. But under the circumstances, you rather forced my hand. Goodbye. Würden Sie die Augen verblinden, bitte? Nein. Have it your own way, Professor. When you hear the bangs, Flop down, doggo. Don't move. Dead as mutton. Got it? How am I doing? Up! Licht an! Whew. 
too much for me. You all right, miss? Glad to see you, Flip. Ah. Huh. Nice work, Flip. You're learning. Got orders to bury you in the sand dunes. How the heck did you pull it off? <laughs> As corporal, I was in charge of giving out the ammo. So I gave more blanks.
rocket balloon. Untie the mooring ropes and hold on. We're getting in that? Why walk when we can ride? Oh, what a choice is! Get in there and commit suicide, or stay here and get murdered. Well, come on then! <laughs> Should do it, Governor. Well done, Fitz. Thank you, Miss. You never cease to amaze me. Likewise, I'm sure, Governor. Where the heck did you learn to fly a balloon, Fitz? Trap in a pub. Alles is the right, Your Majesty. trip, isn't it? Oh, Charlie, you do have a way with words. Jumping Jehoshaphat. Hey, look! Rocket in the firing position, pointed at us. Well, that presumably is the idea. There's not much chance of hitting us, is there? That's a homing transmitter, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, my own design, actually. Yes, it's on. Controlled from the ground by wireless. Rather neat. Perhaps the rocket won't work. Funnily enough, that brute Kilkis dragged me from my cell, had me up half the night working on the damn thing. Doing what? Ordered me to reverse the oxidizer shutoff valve. I couldn't believe my ears. Kilkis sabotaging his own rocket. <laughs> Actually, I put the idea into his head. Ah, and now I understand. Of course, I uh, put on a big act. But did you do it? No. There wasn't time. Strove. Feuerbereit. Feuerbereit. Feuer. Zehn. Neun. Acht. I did block the fuel shut off valve for luck. Good man. You're not your sister's brother for nothing. Vier. Drei. Zwei. Eins. Feuer. Our Imperial Majesty, the Kaiser, wishes you to know he considers you an impudent imposter. Your contract is cancelled. You are no longer welcome in the German Empire. You will leave the country by midnight. All right, Professor Deverell. You think you've been very clever, don't you? But in fact, you've just made the biggest mistake of your life. You've made an enemy who will never forget you. Not for as long as I live. What a waste. If only people would use all our hard work for good. They never seem to. Someday they might. You can get to the moon in a rocket. QED. My brother and I don't 
don't know how to thank you enough, Professor. No need to thank me. But we owe you. Nothing, Betsy. You didn't employ me. You didn't even ask me to take on the job. Just the opposite, if I remember. I only did it because... Well, I still have one human weakness. I can't stand to see other people louse things up. And somebody had to stop Kilkis. I don't want money or thanks. I just want to be left in peace to get on with my work. So if you will resume your already interrupted departure. Right, Professor Deverell. What are you doing? Clearing up all this horrible mess. I want money, no thanks. I just want to be left in peace to get on with my work. I can't bear to see other people lousing things up. have the typewriter installed in the library, miss. How did you know? Oh, you know, I, uh, no. Best thing that's happened since we arrived in this place, miss, if you don't mind my saying so. I don't mind, Phipps. Hello? Professor Devil's residence. Hey. Uh, Betsy? Right. But how? Long story. Well, it, it'll have to wait. This is urgent, Betsy. The, the damnedest thing's just come over the wire. I've just got to talk to the professor. I'm sorry. The professor's working. He's very busy. I can't stop. Um.